Okay, it's beer o'clock on real. Real out craft beer. We're going to do a world record today, mass Sunday. Yeah. 400 kilograms by way of Braithree's Brewery. We're going to do it in the time I do this beer with you. So crack on, Ray. Ready, go! Go! So in the background he's doing that, I'm going to be reviewing Ray Trees Brewery, Caradog's Bitter, 3.9% ABV. Well, the craft brewers in South Wales. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. And it's not just... It's not just a record of, of digging the mash tun, it's a record of pulling it in bags as well, without making too much mess. So, Caradog's beer, beer in the glass, two finger, slightly off white head, nice levels of <coughs> carbonation, golden in colour. And a really, really nice, chewy, biscuity, malty aroma. And on the back end of the aroma, you've got this really good British traditional hop character of, of a slightly kind of brambling cross. Slightly spicy aroma to the beer. Looks good, smells good, let's dive in. So the first thing you get is just how clean and crisp the beer is. Uh, very good drinkability. Nice level of the carbonation. A nice biscuity, bready, malty flavour. One minute fifty-five in, complete. One minute fifty-five in. It's doing really well. Now I must add at this point, Ray has the record at Empty in the Mash Tun at, at Otley Brewing Company. How many breweries did you say, Ray? Otley? Portobello. Portobello, Kite, Grey Trees. Portobello, Kite and Grey Trees. So, he really is very, very quick at Empty in the Mash Tun. But anyway, back to the, back to the beer, the important part. It's just so crisp. It's, it's a really crisp, refreshing, easy drinking best bitter. Hop character, I've not talked about the hop character yet. It's got a slightly spicy, almost like a lime character to the beer on the back end. Um, a traditional British hop beer with, with, with lemon in there, slight kind of lime peel. And a slightly kind of piney, piney character. It's a very good traditional English hop. I would say not English bitter, but a Welsh bitter. <coughs> Let's see what the brewery has to say on the back of the bottle. It's good to leave your mark on the world. Caradog led a, led a 500 strong choir from our valley to victory and established Wales as the land of song. We are making our mark, how about you? Discovering Caradog's story at greatreebrewery.com. Caradog. It looks like Ray is right at the end. He's right at the end of this, this thing. How far are we in, lads? What's the time? Four minutes, four minutes ten. Four minutes ten. This is this is gonna break all records for a mash ton dig. A four hundred kilogram mash ton dig. And of course, me having the most difficult job here, I gotta rate this beer now. Um, and the question I always ask myself when I when I review a beer is, is would I, would I review it again? Not review it again, but would I drink it again? Would I buy this beer again? And absolutely, I would buy this beer over and over again. It's 
clean as a bell, nice looking beer, nice lacing, great aroma. Great aroma and a great taste. So we're right down now, it's a little sweep out now, a little sweep out and then a quick dig and we're done. So what are we, five minutes into this beer review and the mash tent has already been done. Look at that, fantastic stuff. So there's a lot of hard work involved with beer, it's not, it's not just a case of this stuff being thrown in the line. And we're done. What's the time? Five minutes, 28. Five minutes, 28 on a 400 kilogram brew. There you go, there's the time. If it could be done faster, let us know, but I reckon we right know holds the record at Great Trees Brewery. Thanks for watching this brewery, uh, brewery, a beer review. Um, yeah, cheers for watching, and cheers.